and we're back with more tips and tricks for Google Drive. Now we all use Microsoft Word from time to time and sometimes we want to upload those files. So let's see what happens. I have a Microsoft Word file right here. I am going to upload this to my drive and as you can see the icon is a nice blue W. That's because this is a Microsoft Word file. I can double click this and view the document but not edit it. Of course I can click edit but what this does is it creates a Google Docs version. When we go back to our folder you will see that I now have a Word file and a Google Docs file. This can be quite confusing. You accidentally delete the Google Docs file or you accidentally delete the Word file. This is what we're trying to avoid by using Google Docs. We want no conflicting copies and we only want one Google Docs version which is editable and we can collaborate on this. So how do we do this? Very simple, let's start over, let's delete the files we have and let's have a look at our settings. Click on the settings icon and open your settings. Now it is very important if you only want to use Google Docs online that you tick the box that says convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. Once this is ticked all your Word files will be converted. Let's have a look at what happens now. Let's take that same file, drag and drop. It is now being uploaded and automatically converted to Google Docs. When I double click this, this file can be shared and we can start our collaboration. I only have one version of the document and no conflicting copies. Another great function of Google Drive is open your settings and making sure that you have offline access. If you live in a country as I do where it rains and when it rains, trust me, the internet sometimes goes, you want to make sure that you sync your Google Docs sheet slides and drawings to the computer so you can edit them offline. I am going to turn this on a quick note, you do have to use Google Chrome in order to be able to sync them offline. Let's click done. I can now edit my document. Let's add some letters. You will see it is saving my document, automatically saving it to my drive. This means that my document has been synced to the cloud. Let's turn off my internet, disconnect. I now no longer have an internet connection as you can see up here. This says I am offline, but I can still edit my document. It clearly states all changes have been saved offline and they automatically sync as soon as I go back online. So let's do that now. Let's turn my internet back on. I am now connecting to my network and you can see that it automatically saves all the changes back into the cloud. I hope these tips and tricks have been useful. I will give more tips and tricks in our next video.